So what are we making? Let's go ahead and do some lasagna. See all the stars aligned at the grass bed, at the parmesan, at the onions, bell pepper, at the oregano, Italian seasoning, salt free seasoning, onion powder, and garlic powder. Somewhere. <laughs> Gotta get the best onions too. All right guys, this is the lineup. All right, you about to do a rolled up. Let's try here. Well, should I say let's try your rolls? All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. We got stains up, all right? Big guy, big guy. Watch out. They gon' feel us when we roll. They call them big guy, big guy. Okay. And we be putting. Okay, let's go ahead and get a veggie bowls. Veggie bowls started going. Got this guy right here. He's been chopped up. Big old hand in the way. <laughs> That's all right there. Almost got these guys chopped up. I know I should get somebody. Look who joined the party. French Spanish. Gotta have that. Gotta have that. So you gotta stay tuned. Pasta sauce for this lasagna. Here we go. Put some salt. There we go. A little flavor. Got it on high. Let's get it to boil. What's up? We back in this. Back in this. So. Today, as I said before, I showed you the ingredients you're doing was on your roll up. So I gotta do one with no meat. I'm gonna do one with um, ground beef. So had to add the spinach to the mix, so I forgot it. Uh, got the noodles going already. And it's, this this stove is so crazy, it's boiling already. So let's go get our noodles in, get them situated, and then we go ahead and mix up the, the mix with the ricotta cheese, eggs, parmesan, let's season it. Get that going, then we do our song. These guys are just about ready. Gonna unbox this. Just got the regular ones. I didn't get the ones that, you know, you get the ones you can, you don't need to boil and all that stuff. I'm going old school. Of course, you know we need to boil these because we're gonna roll these guys up. I chose this flat, it's like a flat pin so I could get the noodles in there. So I'm gonna turn it up a little. Do a little bit. I got a little bit, a little patient with it. So, I don't know, but we'll work it out. We'll work it out. Maybe I should use a tall one. Use a tall one. I could put more water in it. But this is what we have. This is what we're working with. So you guys stay tuned as I get these noodles prepared, and we'll move on to something. Right. Beef prep. Get this stove up. Maybe a nice little flat pan. Ground beef already opened up. We got the grass fed. In this joint, all right. It's all broke up. I am gonna have to get me a <laughs> that little cruncher. Now we always go in this kitchen, so we we, we fire, we fire what we got going. Going to break these guys up. There we go. Yeah, we firing in here, guys. If I can keep my pants still here. Slide all over the place. There we go, guys. Let's start seasoning. Oh, slap your mama. Some seasoning on it. A little Larry's. No. You gonna go too crazy? The accent. Got that pepper. Got the mixed onions. Thank you. Onions and bell pepper. Mm -hmm. 
this. Um, I had to add a, one thing I did was add a little bit more water, and I was able to get my noodles in here as the water boiled. You know, they started bending and coming more flexible, and then there we started in the in this little pot, no problem. So I used a whole a whole box. I mean, it's about our one pound box, one pound box. So you guys stay tuned. We got the meat still cooking over here. Make sure you chop it up nice and small, but also taste it for season. You may have to add a little bit more season. Right. I'm ready to add that sauce to it. It's a regular sauce. Add to it. Okay. You mix it. Mix it well. Normally you would drain your ground beef, but I didn't have a need, really have a need to. You know, lasagna is basically everything in here really already cooked. <laughs> so you, you cook it separately, then you, then you um, assemble it. So that's basically what we're doing here, and of course, these guys are just about ready as well, too. And, um, then we're gonna move on to a big green bowl. Uh, somebody else joined the party. I forgot that this guy's gonna join too. So we got Daisy, got cheese, we got ricotta cheese, we got a couple of eggs, we got parmesan. Let's go make up our, our cheese mix. And I'm gonna have about to add this to the meat. Yes, you have. Like I say, to taste it. You gotta taste it. Just to taste. And I want a little garlicky. Gotta add a little bit of that juice and then those bits close. Right there, just about there. Sauce just about there. I'm gonna add a little oregano. Of course, I say to taste. <laughs> and let's have a seat here. All right. Get that mixed up in there. Chase and see if you had enough. Then you go from there. Right now, just make sure your sauce is where you want it. Then add a little of that traditional sauce, the regular sauce of here. You can do that. And I'll go from there. Pretty good, pretty, pretty good. It's sauce, cheese sauce, got ricotta cheese, and I got, um, of course, the cottage cheese. A couple of eggs, I might not need a couple of eggs, but uh, I got two just in case. But we're going ahead and go, go ahead and put this together. Of course, the spinach is gonna go in here as well uh, for our filling. I don't like a lot of ricotta cheese, and that's the reason I'm cutting it. I'm cutting it with the cottage cheese. So if you're wondering why I got both of these guys, that's the reason why. Just personal preference. I mean, some people just love that. Or some people just go with that by itself, which will work. So it's just the reason why I'm doing it. My big green bowl. It is a regular teaspoon. Oh, how much put in here? It's gonna be up to your own judgment. <laughs> so it looks like that looks like about a cup. And then I gotta cut that with this. So we're gonna go with cottage cheese. Go. It's about a half a cup. We're gonna stir. That's how it goes. My camera work is getting distracted here. I'm gonna do one more, one more spoon. Keep it Look good. Let's go ahead and add one egg. Just one. I'm not making that much, so I don't think I need two eggs. Go ahead and get that guy. Hold up in there. There we go, sorry about that guys. Got them all mixed up in there. Let's go ahead and add our, our Parmigiano. Yeah, sure. So this is about, about a cup. No, not half a cup, it's about a half a cup. Let me get it all mixed up. 
way you have cheese already, Parmesan already in with inside your rolls. It's all together. At this point, I would just taste it, just to see. A little bit of it, just a little bit. You don't need much, just a little bit. Okay. I want the perfect balance. So, what I'll do now, I'll probably add some, add some oregano, add some Italian seasoning, a little salt, and um, tomato party people. A little salt, a little Morton's, uh, a half a teaspoon, oregano, get that oregano in there, half a teaspoon, and some Italian seasoning, baby. Yes, yeah, sir. About a half a teaspoon. I think I might ask for um, Parmesan as well. I'll stir it up, mix it up. The reason I added more flavoring because I couldn't taste anything. The only thing I tasted was just ricotta cheese, and of course, you know, um, the cottage cheese taste as well. Taste test number two. It could be all the way seasoned, but just have a little something in it. So when you do get your little lips around that, that it won't be tasting bland or it won't be like a something's missing. You feel me? So we got some Parmesan cheese. Maybe just a little bit, a little bit more salt, and then we're gonna add our, our spinach. Just a little bit more Parmesan. Let's get this spinach in the game, baby. Get this spinach in the game. Put a little bit at the time, just stir it in. It also depends on how much, how much spinach you want in your filling. So, we're gonna get this stirred up. You can chop them if you want to, but I don't think it's gonna need for it because the spinach is gonna go anyway as it cooks. Got them all mixed up here. Almost like you're doing a spinach dip. And if you want, maybe easier, just be, you know, note to self, just chop them up. Depends on how big you are. The leaves are, as I was getting in there, my leaves are pretty big, pretty big. So maybe stuff them up a couple times and maybe a little bit easier for you. But this is the filling, basically. And we can see it. This what goes on top of the noodle. You know, you know how it goes when it goes. A little layer, you know, roll it up. But not bad at all. And I tasted it. I did end up adding a little bit more ricotta and um, cottage cheese as well too. So just do it, you know, when you add your spinach, Finish, uh, you'll know for sure. So I just add a little bit more just to make sure the finish is covered and make sure I got it all mixed really well. And boom, beyond that, we're ready to go. So we got noodles and drain these guys. That'd be nice if I had me a pot holder. Drain them. There we go. Beautiful. Sorry about the steam. Cold water on them. Alright guys, if these guys get cooled off, we're gonna try next you guys. Life is what you bake it. <laughs> I guess so. Alright guys, we got one no meat and one wet meat going in here. So this is our prepping station. I have my noodles here cooling off. I already separated them. As you can see, they separated, just let them cool off. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started once they cool off all the way. Prep each dish, actually. That's the best way to go. Yeah, this, this should be fine. I'm gonna do a little sauce on the bottom. It's a little sauce. A little sauce on the bottom. Okay. Spread it around. Spread it around. Spread it to live. There we go. Would have put more, but I got two dishes on. I'm going, I'm going with now, so I just have to make sure we do it. And plus, I got the, um, the sauce from the meat. What about the dish? So, go ahead and prep these guys. Let's get it, let's get it. All right, guys, over here, make sure you, the cutting board is nice and clean. She didn't cut anything on it yet. I didn't cut anything on this. 
another one. Bring it out. All right. So nice and easy, nice and easy meal. Fellas, if you're out there watching for your girl, nice and easy meal. So you get these guys laid out. The best thing about, best thing, <laughs> the best thing about my box of our noodles that none of them were broke. So if you can find a box that none broke, that make your life a whole lot easier. So I can have access to every last one of them. So let's see how many I can make and let's go ahead and start. So more people just showed up to the party, <laughs> which makes sense. <laughs> I got my meat right here, meat mixture, and I got my cheese mixture right here. So we're gonna go ahead and just lace these guys with a little cheese. Then we're gonna go, hold up. Now we're gonna go here, boom, uh, boom, boom. All right, you got it? Here, boom, 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 boom. All right? <laughs> you guys got it? So let's keep yeah, up. Let's get it. Spread them out nice. Nice. There we go. Shred that nice. Nice. I don't think it's the right or wrong way to do this. It may be. But, you know, it makes sense to do it this way. Since this is probably the most difficult thing you have to work with is the cheese mixture. I know in a in a pot, I mean, I'm sorry, in the in the, cash, in the, in the dish, bacon dish, you'll be using uh, the meat first. This is what kind of why I kind of sauce the bottoms real quick. We'll see. We'll do these like this and see how it works out. And then uh, if we want to add some more, we will. Get these three done. And not the three, see how much mix I got. You can see that. Well, you can't really, you really can't see. The camera doesn't really show what I'm doing. So make sure you, you balance it out a little bit, you know? I think I'm gonna make these my ones without meat. Just making sure we got enough over there. All right, here we go, guys. Nice and up close. Not too bad. Not piled too high, as you can see. All right. So what I'm gonna do, since this doesn't have the meat, I'm gonna add just a little bit more spinach. My cooking always improvise. I broke the. Finish up a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Go. Something in more spinach. Spread it out. I don't need too much because there's already spinach in it. All right. I'm going some cheese on top of it. You know, you have to improvise for the non meat eaters. Hopefully, they can still make it tasty for them. All right. Let's go get this guy rolled up. And rolled up. Just take your time. I mean, hopefully, you're not in a rush when you do this. Make sure it's nice and rolled up. I probably put some sauce in here, shouldn't I? Yeah, you're right. See? Improvise. Improvise. Let's do this. Let's do this. Save that sauce. I'm not really working off a recipe. I'm kind of remembering what lasagna is. <laughs> and I'm just going for it. I actually got two of these things. I think I was making that much. So, nope, let's see if I get two of these next time. Cause you gotta go inside and out. Now for my meat people, we good to go, all right? We good to go, trust, trust me, trust me. But it's pretty, look at the colors, look at the colors. All right, that is sauce inside of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, to improvise. It's better already. Yeah. Nice and thick too. I think they are. 
Probably two a person. Good. Last but not least. Nice and thick. Nice and thick. Didamus. Let's get to Didamus. Get thing spatula. Let's scoop it. Oops. Make sure you get that go. <laughs> you may have to get your hand on it a little bit still. Okay, there. Yeah. Right there. That's pretty still looking pretty. That's what you're making it for. Right? Double Take it right there. Then take it off. And now take it to the next one. I'm all in there. I'm making four on, on that era. Then we'll take our, our salt and run it on top. And if you don't have enough sauce, you can always take the same container, put some tomato sauce in it, shake it till the heavens come down. And then reapply it. <laughs> so it's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna cover these up. Bake them for three. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna cover these up. Bake them for 375. And we're gonna roll with it. So we're gonna mix it. Add some sauce on it. Go, wait on the oven, oven 375, I'm gonna throw them in all at the same time. So, a different ball game over here. <clears throat> We're doing the regular way. Spread it out. Looks like I got blessed with, um, these guys really kept their, kept their shape. And, uh, they didn't really stick. I'll just go in and Pulling. So I'm missing that little rip, but I think I did that. Other than that, these guys kept their shape. Okay. Pretty good. All right. Let's go and get this party started, guys. That meat mixture. You have like a have it all together. It was quicker. Let's go. Mix done. Got our cheese mixture. Throw it on there. Okay. It's a lot faster once you got everything together. It's almost no time. Make sure you add just enough, because you know when you roll it up, it's gonna it's gonna come out anyway. So we roll it. I'm kind of picking it up and folding it over so it can stay in place. There we go. So I think that is. Kind of picking picking it up a little bit. I did roll it. I'm picking picking it up a little bit. I'm picking it up a little bit. I'm picking it up a little bit. Stay in place. So that's two. This one, so just be careful if, they, if you do tear. Same thing, just picking them up, roll them over. Boom. Of course, we know it, it'll spill out. Boom. So that's three. Let's go ahead and get them in the pan over here. If you guys ever run to a situation where you need more sauce, bam, run that, run that sauce. Flavor it a little bit. If you need to add a little sugar, do so. But these really are going on, on the bottom or on the side. And like I said, I'll add some over here too. 
but just want to show you this little trick. Alright guys, here you go. Head open it up. Pull them all up in there. Let's pour it in there. Put it in the water. Shake it. And pour the rest. Same thing with this one. Shake it. The water. Boom. Y'all want to take a full thing again. Look at that. Yes, sir. Just a little tomato sauce can. Just filling. It's not really going inside the the mix the food. I'm just gonna add a little salt to it. Just a little salt. And I'll get my cap. Shake it, shake it, baby, shake it. Taste it. Taste it from the cap. Back in business, uh, you don't do too much to it, it's gonna cook anyway, so. And, you, and it's not going inside the food, it's going around the food, and it still has a pretty good flavor. It's just come on the can, add salt, that was it. And this is the reason why I did it. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Have to worry about sticking to the pot. Got enough sauce. Got something to put on top for the cheese. When you back in the game. So he's sitting in sauce. That will smell a whole lot better. Whole lot better. Let's go ahead and get the rest of it back. on track, guys. You already, you already got these guys going. Let's pick them up. I know I didn't put cheese in the other one, but I went back and I added it. Oh. So it goes pretty fast once you get together. So let's take, let's still take your time. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And when you spatula it, you can either oil it or you can wet it. And then you can add it here, it'll be a lot easier. Here we go, you guys are in here, and I'm about to top them with meat and sauce and cheese. That sauce going. Okay. Got some of that meat on top. Make sure that it's just all coated on there. We can beat them eyes. All right, put meat on that one. This makes sure it pretty, pretty even, so whoever you're fixing it for, everybody get a bite, a fair share. Look at that. Then we're gonna add cheese. section off, you know, it's six servings. We're gonna go from there. So we're good to go, guys. Let's go ahead and maybe um, add a little Parmesan and uh, go ahead and get these guys in the oven. So we get these guys in the oven. This is the one with no meat. The one with meat. Yo, 375. I'm gonna cover them, up, cover them up with some foil, too. Let's go ahead and do that. Some foil, just in case, so I can cook them for at least 35, 40 minutes. All right, they're in the oven, um, like I said, 35, 45 minutes, and uh, we will check them in 35, 45 minutes. <laughs> Alright guys, 
guys can see the Eight product. It was absolutely delicious. Um, sauce was a big deal. I'm glad I made the extra sauce. So as you see, I'm going through it. Um, it could definitely use a bit more sauce, but I just remembered the sauce is actually in the baking dish as well too. So just take some more sauce and put it on top of it um, as much as you like, because we did make extra sauce. So that's, that's a good part of it, but very good. Very good, very good. It turned out well. It was simple, easy recipe. So definitely, um, I think you guys should try it. If I had a gentleman out there that want to impress your lady, hey, go for it. Just something you can impress her with. What up, family? <laughs> Thank you guys for rocking with your boy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a very easy roll-up lasagna. However you want to announce it, whatever you want to call it. Very easy. If you guys are here for the first time, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Love to have you guys join the family. So. We'll see your beautiful people next video. You guys, be blessed. Peace.